In this episode, we'll show you some extraordinary Guinness records that you will never see again. So, for how long do you guys think you can hold your breath? Most of us can do it for about half a minute, or maybe one minute max. Well, some people can do it for three minutes or so. But I don't think that there are anyone who can come even near to the outstanding results set by the Croatian driver Budimir Sobat. In 2018, he set an incredible world record holding his breath for 24 minutes 11 seconds underwater. Can you believe that? 24 minutes without a single breath. The record was set at a competition they organized to attract public attention to the problem of autism. After setting the record, Sobat said this, I am proud of the record. Proud I did something no one else in the world has ever done. And I'm glad that because of this, children with autism will get more attention. But how did this man manage to do it? Maybe his lungs are several times bigger than those of ordinary people. Nope. In fact, he didn't just hold his breath for 24 minutes. We're talking about an entire discipline here called static apnea. It's when a diver first breathes in pure oxygen and then stays underwater without moving. This method of preparation is very effective, but at the same time quite dangerous. The more intense, the longer the hyperventilation is, the more acute the hypoxia will be during lifting. Also, an unprepared person can easily lose consciousness during hyperventilation, so it's absolutely impossible to repeat this method on your own. Sometimes when there's no hot water, we are forced to take a cold shower. And it isn't a particularly pleasant kind of procedure, to say the least. Although some people adore cold temperatures, Joseph Kobel is certainly one of those people who likes feeling cold against his bare skin. He repeatedly set world records sitting in snow and ice. A year later, in early September 2020, Joseph decided to break his own record. He came to the Austrian city of Mel, climbed into an aquarium filled with ice, and sat there for 2 hours 30 minutes 57 seconds. That's 2.5 hours of pure ice. It gives you goosebumps when you just think about it. Have you ever played basketball? If you did, then you should definitely know that shooting from behind a three-pointer line isn't easy. Not to mention an accurate throw from the middle of the court or even from far end. So the world record we are about to show you what you'll never see again. What kid doesn't like jumping inside a water pool? It's a cool and fun thing to do, any kid would agree. Swiss Lasso Schaller, also known as Lasso, probably adored this kind of activity when he was little. So much that he later decided to make jumps a part of his professional career. Lasso loves to jump a lot and he likes climbing high. Which record do you think let him sign his name into the book of records do you think? How high did it go? 30? 40 meters maybe? Nope. In 2015, Lasso set the craziest world record by making an incredible jump into a natural pool in Cascada El Salto. Back then, it jumped from a height of 58.8 meters. Just think about it. It's scary to even imagine how it did that because it's practically the height of a 20-story building. And don't you think that falling into water from such a height is safe? Even a professional like Lasso himself had problems with his hip afterwards. He landed at a speed of 123 kmph, so I guess we could say that he got very, very lucky. I don't think anyone will ever dare to repeat his record, but we'll see. Some people like climbing and jumping from great highs into water. Others test their nerves by walking a long, long rope. Freddy Kühne is a famous German slackliner and tightrope walker. He set many world records. The brightest one of them happened in 2016 in the Canadian province of British Columbia. Together with his team, he went to Hanlon Falls and pulled a 72-meter rope. Freddy walked it at a latitude of 400 meters above sea level without delay. And it looks pretty scary even on a video. I can't imagine what Freddy felt walking a tightrope at such great height. Although he probably didn't feel anything, apparently this man is completely fearless. Otherwise, he won't be able to demonstrate these results. Freddy set a new world record in the free solo discipline and gained worldwide fame among slackliners and tightrope walkers. This guy holds over 10 different world records which he set in different parts of the world, and I wonder if there's anyone out there who can beat Freddy. You need a head to think. 
or you can use it for other various purposes, of course. Karim Ames by H from Bosnia uses his head to break concrete blocks. In 2017, he set very impressive world record, breaking 111 concrete blocks in just 35 seconds. Karim smashed all the blocks with his bare head, and he did it with style, in a kind of somersault. The record was officially recognized by the people from Guinness Records. The result caused at least a storm of applause by the people who saw it happen, which is not surprising because it must have been extremely difficult and painful. As Karen says, he is just beginning his journey. He set the record at the age of 16, so there is an entire life ahead of him. I'm sure that he will break his own record more than once sooner or later. Let's just hope that he won't go too far in his pursuit because as we can clearly see, this is a dangerous and risky kind of business. In 2017, another incredible record was set and we will probably never see it again. It was set by an 8-year-old boy from India. His name is Tilak Kaysam. This boy has super flexible body. Tilak is a limbo skating professional. He puts on his skate, speeds up, and as he moves, he leans forward as much as he can, and this is how he passes various objects that are put very low. In 2015, Tilak set one of his first records, driving under 30 centimeters high bars for a distance of 160 meters. In 2017, he broke his own record, going 145 meters without stop under 146 obstacles. And then he did something completely extraordinary. This time, they were installed at a distance of 28 centimeters off the floor. It took Tilak only 56 seconds. These passages look really impressive. It seems like there are no bones in Tilak's body whatsoever. It's like his boy is made entirely out of bubblegum. It happens so that the vast majority of people in the world hate bees and wasps. Seeing even one bee, some people just run away because they get scared. But Ruan Lingming from Jiangxi is not afraid of bees at all. It's like one bee for him is like nothing because Ron loves to wrap himself in swarms of bees and this lets him set world records. Several years ago he set a totally insane record for wearing a dress made of bees. He covered himself with a 63 kilograms of live bees which were literally poured onto him. Guinness Book people watched it happen live. When the thing was recorded, they took the bees off. And so now the Chinese will be remembered forever as the most fearless beekeeper. And it's very unlikely that anybody will ever beat his insane record. Take a look at this water slide, guys. Pretty tall, isn't it? It seems like only madmen would agree to ride that tall of a slide, but nobody has to do it because this ride doesn't exist. But this doesn't mean there are no wild and scary super tall slides in the world. The highest and one of the most bizarre water slides in the world is located in Kilimanjaro. It's in a water park near Brazilian Rio de Janeiro. It is 49.9 meters tall, that's like a 70 story building, and it's not surprising that only the most adventurous vacationers dare to conquer this spot. The slide was built in 1999 and entered the book of records in 2002. With a height of almost 50 meters, Kilimanjaro has an angle of 60 degrees. This allows you to reach a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Would you like to try it out guys? And that's all for now, thank you for watching, we wish you well, and we'll see you another time.